There are many quality options available for early childhood education and care and family daycare is one of these options. The national quality standards are in place to ensure that quality standards form part of every service, but this can look different in practice depending on the service and the community. This video demonstrates how one service is meeting the national quality standards. The philosophy of family daycare is where education and care happens in a home environment where an educator delivers the best quality outcomes for children in their own home. The other important thing about quality family daycare is that relationship between the family and the educator and the educator understanding what the needs of that family are and delivering that. Being part of a community where children get to be a part of everyday learning experience from going to the shop to being outside and digging in the garden and all those things that happen in a normal everyday home but with an educator who's informed by theory about their practice and the learning frameworks and they're planning around those and they're documenting that so that parents can see what's happening for their children. When I visited a family daycare scheme office, I checked to see that their policies and procedures are current and relevant, they're referenced according to current resources and contemporary data and research. I look for efficient processes, I look for collaborative approaches, that there hasn't just been one person involved in making decisions, that all stakeholders have been involved. No one home is the same, but some things that they all have in common are things around ensuring that their safety requirements are met, so there's appropriate fencing, there's safety gates on stairs, that glass is appropriate. So there's some really basic things that happen in every single home. I've made my inside-outside flow where I can visually see and hear the children at all times, whether they're inside or outside. I've created that in the safe learning space. Supervision, constant supervision. We educate the children how to hold hands and crossing the road or holding the pram when we're getting in and out of the car. I am there always with them. In family daycare, other things that are critical to the well-being of children whilst they're in care is that educators are skilled and knowledgeable about ensuring that they can support children in emergencies. So say, for example, there's a fire, they get to practice fire emergencies all the time. When a coordination unit brings on an educator, they'll ensure that educator has support mechanisms in place that if there is an emergency, who they can call, who can come out to assist them in an emergency situation. There's other things like fire evacuations and fire drills that the children should be practising with the educator. You might like to ask about the cleaning regimes and checking of first aid kits and fire extinguishers and different safety mechanisms that they should also be looking at. I expect the family daycare coordinator to oversee the educator's practices in terms of the seven quality areas of the National Quality Standard. I expect them to coordinate to be able to conduct their own monitoring visits in accordance with the minimum regulatory requirements. I would check for documentation that the coordinator has completed on those visits and ask how often the coordinator actually conducts these visits and how long would they spend with the educator and what if an educator needed more support or needed more training, how would they go about that? With educators who work in their own home, Sometimes people think that they're isolated in their own space, but the great thing about family daycare is that it's a network of educators who work with a coordination unit. So the coordination unit, who have staff who are skilled and qualified in early child and a whole range of other qualifications, work really closely with educators and families, making sure that they're making the right match for the family to the educator, supporting educators in their work every day. They're responsible for ensuring that there's compliance with government legislation and mentoring and coaching those educators to complete qualifications to learn new skills and providing that education and care environment. With our policies and procedures, this is something that we work on consistently, not just here in the office, but we work on them with our educators and with all stakeholders. All stakeholders are actually involved in the developing and the implementing of all policies and procedures. The Quality Improvement Plan is actually developed by looking at what we're doing and what we need to do a little bit better. We have in-depth training based on the Early Years Learning Framework and the national standards that the educators are actually trained in. The training is actually done through electronic methods and it's also done through in-house training here in the office. We believe that if an educator is trained properly to start with, then we're putting her on a road to success. All educators receive a weekly visit to start with the weekly will proceed to fortnightly when needed and then will proceed to monthly. In the initial training, we cover all legislation. We go through the ELF, 
we go through the national quality standards and everything is related back to that so that we know that all those areas are actually covered. Educational leadership in family daycare again is not dissimilar from educational leadership in any other type of early childhood setting but an educational leader should be able to have the skills, knowledge and access to resources that their educators in their team that they manage need to be able to conduct a quality program in a family daycare home. So family could also ask the educator about the type of program and experiences and activities they're going to be offering the child when they're in their home, when they're looking after them. The educator would want to make sure that they know about the children's interests and what's of interest to them. So not only interest in terms of, at the moment we really like Ninja Turtles, but is that of interest to that child? And how can they use the children's interests to get the best out of the children on the day? Also, what's the cultural and family perspectives and what are the priorities of the families and what do they want from the program that's offered to the child? When we're talking to all of our stakeholders, we use SurveyMonkey a lot because SurveyMonkey, we're able to get their comments in and they can actually be part of it. We use our Facebook, we're developing a blog so we can actually get the families communicating to us in the blog as well. Our newsletters are also very popular with all of our families. When a family comes to visit a family daycare home, the family should look for toys and equipment that is a lot of variety, a lot of choice and equipment that suits the age of your child. So if the family daycare has a range of ages of children that they're providing care for, there should be sufficient equipment to cater for the number of children that are in the home and also equipment that would be of interest to them. When you walk into an educator's home, you should have a feeling that you're going to be included. What that means is that all the child's needs and wants are going to be catered for. That the parents' perspectives, the parents' values are going to be understood and going to be respected. Each educator actually completes a learning journey for each child in their care. The learning journey can have various aspects to it. It can have learning stories, it can have observations, it can have pictures. Whatever the educator's wanting to put in the learning journey for each child, this is what makes this up. This is available for parents to see, for children to view. Children love to view their own learning journeys in the educator's house. And all of this documentation is available for the coordinators to see on their visit. And how do you document that program in the children's learning? And how do you share that? Technology is <laughs> at the forefront at the moment. I have a little app that I send to the parents. I take documentation through photos, write little observations happen and it's instant. The parent gets that in point instantly and they respond back instantly to me. They're updated with the program on a weekly basis and the activities of the children on a daily basis. Technology these days is just wonderful. I think what I like about our family daycare educator is the personal attention and care that she gives to Lewis and Lewis's development. Nicole's absolutely amazing with the kids. She loves what she does and she's really great with them. I love that she provides a comfortable environment for them where they can interact with other kids and they can be stimulated and learn new things sometimes in ways that I can't always provide for them at home. They talk about it all day and they can't wait to go back the next day and I think that in itself speaks a lot. Visit our website for more information on early childhood education and care options and support for services.